Hello everyone, my name is Jared Hybart. I'm a product manager here at Yokogawa. And today we'll be covering some common maintenance items for the TV820D and Flexa 402. In this part, we'll show you how to change the LED in your TV820D. To start this, you would want to remove power from the analyzer. We're gonna remove this front cover and expose our LED board. Now that we have the front cover removed, you can locate the LED module on the left-hand side of the detector unit. It will begin by loosening the captive screw at the bottom of the LED bracket. Once you have this loosened, you want to push up on the bracket and it will pop and rotate upwards. Once it's rotated upwards, you want to push the bracket to the left at this point, it should be free and you can pull it straight out from inside the detector unit. Be careful about the communication cable. It is made of a bunch of thin wires. They can break, so be careful about that. To disconnect these cables, you can see there's a small black tab next to the connector. You wanna pull up on this. It will give you a pop and then push it all the way towards the cable and pull it straight away from the board and you should disconnect the LED. Now you have the LED module separate. You can get your new module, which will be in the same kind of assembly that you have just taken out, and you want to do the process in reverse. So we'll start by connecting the communication cable with the locking lever pointed towards the cable. Use that little tab to lift the lever up and push it towards the board. You'll feel a click when it locks into place. Now that the connector is connected, you can reinsert the LED assembly by sliding it onto that alignment section. When you line this up, you should be able to slide the LED all the way to the right until it stops. Once it stops, you can press it down and you'll feel a click and it will lock into place. You can give it a jiggle and it should not move. Once it's locked into place, you can tighten up that lock screw. We can install the lid back on and tighten it down with the six screws on the front here. And you've officially replaced your LED assembly. If you have any other questions or would like more information, please visit yokogawa.com.